given a question construct a pda for the language a to the power n b to the power m a to the power n such that m comma n is greater than equal to 1 so let's start we we'll first understand how, what is the language what are the different strings in my language so here i have a to the power n b to the power n a to the power n and m and n greater than equal to 1 so here my m can be from 1 to can be 1 2 3 and so on also n can be 1 2 3 and so on fine right? So at least the minimum value for m is a 1 and minimum value of n is also 1. So let's say is if n is equal to 1 and m is equal to 1. What would be my string over here? It would be a, b, a. Right? When n is equal to 2 and let's say m is equal to 3. a, a, b, b, b. A, A, fine. Okay, so from the question, we understand that N and M are independent. First. Okay, independent. And the minimum value for N and M is 1. Minimum value for N and M over here is 1. Only thing that we need to concern is here the number of A's should match up with the number of A's after reading all B's. Okay, that is this N and this N. Here, I need to consider at least one, one B. Fine. And not bothered about how many B's are there. Only matching over here pattern matching is this this n and this n yes now let's define our language over here okay when n and m both are equal to 1 we get a b a as a smallest valid string okay then i can have uh, let's say n is equal to 2 and m is equal to 1 you can have a a b a a are this string like this is also valid also i can have a string like this the language is not fine into fine so only matter of concern over here is this number of ways over here should match with the number of ways after i after i get a b and also at least one B has to be there. At least one B has to be there. Okay. Now, what logic will be using for? Let's suppose I consider this example over here. And this is my step. On reading this A, I push this A to the stack. On reading the next A, I push A to the stack. Third A, I push this A to the stack. Now, when I read a B, perform skip operation. After ignoring this B, I go to the next B, perform skip operation once again, ignore this B, right? I start performing pop operation. That is, for this A over here, I pop over this A. For this A over here, I pop over B. A that is there at the top of the stack. Next A, pop over the a the top of the stack and when i read an epsilon and my stack top is said not reach find and save now that's the logic that we'll be using that is push all a's to the stack here on reading the b ignore or perform skip operation skip operation for all b's when an a is encountered after reading all b's start Pop operation. Okay, so let's begin. So this is our string that we have we have taken over here, and this is our stack which is initially having Z naught as its topmost element. Okay, 
So we'll start from state Q0, read header at A. On reading A, we push A to the stack. On reading A, our stack top is Z0. Push A to the stack. Push A to the stack. Okay. Put up a loop transition on here. On reading the other A, that is next A. On reading the other A, stack top is in A. Perform push operation. Perform push operation and this A, this A push to the stack over here. On reading the next A, this transition of A, that is A, stack top A, perform push will come and I push this A to the stack. Continue for all these. Now when I read a B, when I read a B, when I read a B, I know I have to perform skip operation. My stack top is in A, stack top is in A, perform skip operation. Keep the stack top as it is. This transition will also help to check at least one B is there in my language. Okay. Now my read header is at this B. For all the Bs, I know I have to perform skip operation. That's why I put up a loop on reading B stack top is in A. Perform skip operation. Read header is at A now. On reading this A, I have to start performing pop operation from the stack. On reading this A, stack top is in A, stack top is in A over here. Start performing pop operation. That is, this A is now removed. On reading the other A, I have to continue performing pop operation. So, on reading this A, Stack top is in A over here. Continue performing pop operation. That is, I put up a loop on reading an A. Stack top is in A. Perform pop operation. For this A as well, and my stack top is in A over here. Perform pop operation. Okay. Now, when I read an epsilon and my stack top is Z0. When I read an epsilon and my stack top is Z0, I say that the string has ended, perform skip operation and reach final state Q3. Complete your answer by defining the seven tuples and check for valid and invalid string. That's how you get full marks in your exam.